When things aren't going your way in the short run, it's quite easy to become frustrated. But we have to remind ourselves to zoom out, to remember that we are playing different kinds of games. And one game that you are playing is the long game. But what tends to happen is we get so caught up in the moment, especially the failures of the moment. It doesn't make sense because, you know, we have certain responsibilities we have to meet, there are bills that you have to pay. And so those things weigh very heavily on you in the short run. And if you feel like you can't live up to those expectations or that you can't always cover those bills, it becomes a very frustrating thing to deal with. But it's important to remember that that's like, it's just one part of the game that you are playing. There's the short game and there's the long game. And ultimately, when we think about it, all of us are interested in winning the long game. That's what we are really working towards, is to have peace of mind, is to have freedom, is to be able to take care of those around us. And so I've been thinking about this quite a bit and I wanted to share three things that I think can help you to better play the long game. By the way, my name is Eric Kruger. I'm an author, I'm a keynote speaker, and all the work that I do is to help people adapt and excel in modern times. The first thing is that you have to think about how you allocate your resources because you want to do it in such a way that it enables you to keep playing the game. Like if you want to play the long game, you need to be in the game. There's this thing in, in business, there's a saying that goes, um, cash flow is the livelihood of all business. And essentially what it says is like, we need the cash to stay alive. We need the cash to pay our employees, to pay our suppliers. But the thing is very often we get the cash, it's we have the resources, but we don't allocate it properly. We are wasteful in how we uh, distribute those resources, especially when we are only playing the short game, when it's only about today's satisfaction, today's gratification. If you are really playing the long game, then you will allocate money to today, but also to tomorrow, or your resources, time, to today and also to tomorrow. This is something that I'm actually notoriously quite bad at, especially when it comes to the money component of things. Um, and the reason for that is that if you want to allocate money to tomorrow, it means that you need to delay your gratification also until tomorrow. Um, and I'm, I'm quite impulsive when it comes to spending and buying things. So I'm, I fall victim to this quite often. And the way that I've been able to work around it is that I've been automating many of my finances. So for example, you automate um, money into savings, money into crypto, and money into offshore. And so what you do is you remove certain of those resources out of your line of sight so that you don't think about it, you won't use it, and then that becomes the money that you get to allocate to tomorrow. The second way in which you get to play a better long game is that you have to assess the actions of today. There are many ways for us to assess whether an action is effective or not, but one way, one criteria we could use is to say, is this helping me to build the future that I want? And what you will find is that some actions are only for today. They only help you to get through the day. They are very reactive in that way. Other actions will build for tomorrow. So you might do something today, you don't see the results of it straight away. It's kind of the whole idea about, you know, you go to the gym, you train, you get home, you look in the mirror, nothing's changed. You do that every single day, uh, and every day you look in the mirror and nothing has changed, but you do that consecutively for six months or whatever, and all of a sudden you see a big difference. So some actions are like that. You are depositing into what tomorrow is going to look like. And then some actions will have some sort of a crossover, that you do it for today, but it's also gonna set you up for tomorrow. And that probably is some sort of an action that is going to uh, accrue or accumulate resources for you that you then hopefully, in step one, will allocate strategically enough so that you get to play both games. Thirdly, is you need to practice patience. We get frustrated because we look at our lives and we go, I'm not where I wanna be. This is where my life is. This is where I thought I would be. And there's a big gap. There's a big discrepancy here. And so we get frustrated, we get irritated, and maybe even anxious or frustrated. And when we are in those states, they aren't the optimal states for creativity, for problem solving. And so I think it actually detracts from us building the future that we want. Whereas when we have patience and we can zoom out a little bit, we can realize that, yes, maybe today I'm not where I want to be, but if I zoom out and I give myself a bit more space because I'm playing the long game, then if I look into the future, seven years from now, if I keep doing what I'm doing, if I'm building for the future, if I'm allocating my resources properly, if I'm assessing my actions and doing things for the short term, but also for this long game, then I think I can create the life that I want. 
when I give myself time and space and permission, it all feels a lot more doable. And I realize that I don't have to be um, at the end point today because of course there is no end point anyway, but at least I know that this is part of the journey and I am heading in the right direction. I know that personally for me, when I zoom out, it really encourages me to do something today that my future self will thank me for. If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend that you watch one of these two videos next.